a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Julia Marston Clark and the topic of today's lesson is Hung on a Tree. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that once more we're able to open your words. As we are about to share the message, we ask that you open our hearts to receive it. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So the passages that we're going to be focusing on today are Galatians 3, 1 to 14, and Deuteronomy 21, verses 22 and 23, and Deuteronomy 27, verse 26. Now, when you read Galatians 3, 1 to 14, there are many things that Paul said in those verses. But we are now going to look at Deuteronomy 27, verse 26, and Deuteronomy 21, verses 22 and 23, to help us understand the message that is contained in Galatians 3, 1 to 14. Sadly, many Christians use Galatians as an excuse to say we do not need to keep the law. Of course, we know what this excuse is really about. These Christians want an excuse not to keep the Sabbath. They think that keeping the Sabbath holy shows you're trying to save yourself by keeping the law. Paul is against this false idea. He does not believe that our keeping the Sabbath shows we are trying to earn the good favor of God for or his mercy. So Paul talks not against the law in Galatians 3, 1 to 14. But then the question is, why do people use these verses to show we no longer need to keep the Sabbath? When you look at Galatians 3, verse 10, it shows us the answer. Paul says, but people who depend on following the law to make them right are under a curse. Then Paul uses a quote from Deuteronomy 27, verse 26. So what do these verses show us? The problem is not our obedience to the law. The problem is that we try to save ourselves by our obedience. Paul wants us to understand this very important idea. So he uses another quote from Deuteronomy. This time he uses Deuteronomy 21 verse 23 about a guilty man who should die for his crime. As punishment, the man is hung on a tree. Paul uses this example as a word picture for what Jesus does for us. We are under a curse for breaking the law, but Christ took away that curse. He changed places with us and put himself under that curse. What is the curse? The curse is death. All humans face this death because we have broken the law. The good news though is that Jesus died his death for us on the cross. Christ died so that by believing in him, we could have the spirit that God promised, according to Galatians 3 verse 14. No one but Jesus Christ can save sinners from the curse of the law. Only Jesus can make our lives right. Jesus took upon himself our guilt. He accepted the shame of our sin. This sin was so awful to God because he is holy. Our sin separated the Father and the Son from each other. And it's the same way our sin separates us from the Father and his Son, Jesus Christ. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your words. We thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, who came and sacrificed himself so that we may have eternal life. We ask, Lord, that you help us to follow in his footsteps so that we may be obedient to your words. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Alpha. We look forward to sharing another episode with you tomorrow. Until then, God bless you. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.